good day to all of you today i will talk about the rise and the causes of romantic criticism love of liberty is ingrained in the english temperament hence it is that the english could not servilely follow the neoclassical rules englishmen are too individualistic for any slavish imitation for any length of time an undercurrent of liber liberalism is noticeable even at a time when neoclassicism was at its height the french revolution and the american war of independence these were the two incidents which fostered the spirit of free thinking love of political independence led to the rise of the spirit of free inquiry in such an atmosphere the pseudo classical rules were questioned and their limitations exposed there was fresh thinking on the subject of literary appreciation there was rethinking on the nature of beauty and aesthetic appeal and a new aesthetics was thus developed men of genius like wordsworth and coleridge voiced their protest against neoclassicism and through their critical pronouncements laid the foundation of romantic criticism they gave a definite program and consciousness to the romantic movement so under the superficial calm of the 18th century new forces were brewing and undercurrent of change was flowing which burst into life with the publication of the preface to the lyrical ballads by wordsworth hence it is true to say that the foundations of 19th century criticism was laid in the 18th century now for your understanding uh, i'll uh, uh, read out to you the chief features of the romantic criticism number 1 romantic criticism ignores rules whether these rules are of aristotle or horace or of the french and it emphasizes that works of literature are to be judged on the basis of the impression that they produce and not with reference to any rules so it is impression impressionistic and there is freedom of inquiry is its key note so that's point number 1 point number 2 it is concerned with the fundamentals such as the nature of poetry and its functions and not merely with the problems of style diction or literary genres what is it concerned with it is concerned mainly with the process of poetic creation point number 3 emphasis is laid on imagination and emotion and not on reason and good sense poetic enthusiasm is no longer looked down upon as by the neo classics poetry no longer remains mere imitation or invention but it becomes the expression of emotion and imagination there is uh, no adherence to rules also imagination is emphasized as the basis of creation and of judgment of what is created so it is imagination which leads to the production of great works of art shakespeare is great because his works are the product of imagination 
Next, pleasure rather than instruction becomes the end or function of poetry. Now Coleridge himself quoted and said, if poetry instructs, it does so only through pleasure. Unquote. Romantic criticism is creative. Simplicity is emphasized both in the theme and the treatment and it is much the result of imagination as works of literature. Critics express their views after entering imaginatively into the thoughts and feelings of the writers whose works they may be examining. Now these are were some of the characteristics or features of the new romantic criticism and earlier before this I gave you the causes of romantic criticism.